all black seats, crème brûlée What they gon' say? With the top down, screaming money, anything We up till six in the morning When the sunrise, we'll be on it Oh, I got five, you know it's all live Tell me when to go, baby, when we gon' slide Baby, when we gon' slide Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing this semi hand that I got. It shows you how to apply the hand to the table. So this is what it looks like when you open the box. It comes with 100 nail tips and they come in two different sizes. <music> This is what it looks like Ooh. and you take them off you just pop it pop it off and pop it back on and you should hear a clicking sound this part is to connect it to the table and it has this round part so like you don't mess up your table or whatever now I'm going to start by putting the right size tips into the hand because they had all big, um, all the big sizes in the nail. So I switched it and I put the small ones on the four fingers and the big one on the thumb. So they just pop in easy. And I really love this hand. I had. I already did so many videos on this hand sorry you guys i haven't uploaded in so long it's been like what two weeks two three weeks that is so bad but y'all i don't know what i was doing to be honest i have no excuse for y'all i really don't <laughs> Now I'm cutting down the length of the nails. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to apply and shape um, nail tips. So I'm removing the shine from the nails. You can use an e-file or a regular hand file to do this. You really don't need um, the nail drill. It's not necessary. So I'm taking my e-file and just going around the cuticle area and then coming down and removing the shine and also shaping up the free edge of the nail. was having trouble because it kept sliding off so I realized you have to have um, the tan part of the nail slid up so it could click if not it's gonna pop off because it's like a slidey um, it's like a slide thing I don't know why they would do that it's so stupid <laughs> So now I'm going to apply the tips. So when you're applying tips, you want to make sure that they fit sidewall to sidewall if you're working with natural nails. And on the dummy hand, you would want to make it make the tip a little bit bigger just because um, there are bigger and you can fall it down. So this I chose a size one. 
I used to apply the glue to the tip and then put it on the nail, but that is really messy and it used to slide down the tip and then get the tip used to get stuck to my hand. So I learned to just apply the glue to the nail and apply the tip. So I'm gonna show you guys again. All four of these fingers are gonna be the same size because they're the same size tip. So you're gonna apply the glue and then apply the nail tip to your natural nail. And make sure you don't apply too much glue because it'll take a long time to dry. And then you'll be sitting there holding the nail to um, your hand for forever Now you're gonna take your tip cutters and cut down to the desired length I'm gonna show you guys five different shapes that you could do the first one I'm gonna do is the tapered square so you're not gonna cut off much on the sides just gonna cut off a little bit this one I'm gonna do a coffin so you're gonna cut off but you're not gonna cut off so much you're just gonna cut off the corners this one is gonna be um, I think it was a ballerina so this is like a coffin. You kind of got cut off the same amount, but when you're filing, you're gonna file that one a little bit um, more at the free edge of the nail. And the last one is gonna be almond. So you're gonna cut that one like you're gonna cut um, a stiletto. The pointer finger was a stiletto. So you're gonna cut all of them coffin and then file down the rest pretty much. I'm gonna take my nail file, my hand file, and start shaping up the nail. This one is a tapered square, so you don't really need to shape it up a little bit. You can see my ring light sliding. It's so ridiculous. This setup today, this day was horrible for me. But yeah, you're gonna shape up the size of the nails a little bit, not a lot, because you're, it's really a square. So you're just crisping up the, sh the shape of the nail. This one is going to be the coffin, so you're going to file the free edge at a 180 degree angle. So you want it to be straight. And then you're going to file in the sides a little bit as well because you already cut most of it. This is a coffin, so you don't need to do it like that. You're going to file at a, I think it's like 45 degree angle. You're going to keep going until you feel like you're satisfied with the shape of the nail. I think I made a mistake. I think this one is ballerina and the other one is coffin. So this one is coffin. This angle is kind of bad because you can't really see. But I believe the ring finger is coffin and the uh, middle finger is ballerina. This is going to be um, a stiletto. You got to hold the nail because they will pop off. But you, this one is going to be a stiletto. 
so you're gonna keep filing back and forth don't file too much on one side because your nail is gonna come out lopsided but you're gonna keep filing back and forth until you reach a point that you want this is how I also did the ballerina nail I don't think I showed it but this is how you get the stiletto you keep going back and forth until you get your point Then on the thumb, this is going to be like an oval shape. I wouldn't say it's almond because it's not as pointy at the top. So I'm going to say oval. And you're just going to, like you did this little nail, keep going back and forth until you get the length, I mean the, the shape to your liking. And then you're going to round off the tip. So the stiletto is pointy, but the almond or the oval shape is like round. gonna go keep going back and forth back and forth and back and forth and that's pretty much it you guys that's how you shape all your nails this is what the thumb looks like this is what all the nails look like yeah so like I said the pointer finger was the ballerina and the middle finger was the coffin so yeah, these are the nails. This is it. I'll leave everything in the link down below. And I'll definitely see you guys in the next one. Follow all my social media. Link is in the description as well. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.